we go. Well, happy new year, everybody. It's going to be a beautiful year. I know that God has some exciting things ahead for us as a community, but also for you as an individual. So this is how we're doing church. Some of us are online, some of us are in the room, but we are one church. Let's wave. Give our camera down here a big wave. Oh. Got to see the, the hearts are flying in the chat room. Keep them flying. Here, yeah. That's awesome. We are now all together. We did it. It took two and a half years, but we did it. We're in the room yeah. all at once. Welcome home, friends. Welcome back. We're glad to have you here on this Easter weekend. Glad to have you here at church. I took a big bite. Woo! Look at this. It comes right around you. <laughs> Goes over Toronto, okay? Yeah, there you go. Good job, Jonathan! Pipe ropes are like a little tiny, tiny, tiny piece of string, and you gotta walk really slowly, because if you walk too fast, you're gonna go, whoa, whoa, whoa! <sighs> yeah, not that fun. I don't know why these actually were put out. If you could, just stop looking at the cookies. My boy David, I got the toilet. Okay, time. Do you have anything to say, Fluffy? Okay. Church was not about a place, always about a people. The church was not where you go, the church was you who go. It was a diverse community. It crossed ethnic barriers, it united people, it bridged generational boundaries. It was strong enough to keep together this great collection of people that maybe had no commonality outside of it. We show up for Jesus, number one. And number two, we show up for each other. Your individual contribution gets expanded when you don't try to do your Jesus life alone, but you do it with others in, in Christ's church. The truth is that when we use our lives to encourage and invest in others, when we take up that call to become mentors, this is how we make a difference in the kingdom of God. We want to be a church that is deep and wide. Deep in the kingdom of Jesus and wide in the mission of Jesus. Shine your light at the front if this world needs Jesus more than it ever has before in anybody's lifetime. Okay, keep your lights up if you think we as a local church need to do whatever it takes, short of sin, to reach that next generation with Jesus. Absolutely. And you're the next generation. Yes. Jesus, thank you for all the kids help them to know you and love you. Yes, God, we pray for that. Who made everything? God made everything right down to you and right down to me. God gave us Jesus, not for just us, not for our family only, but for the people around the world. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I'll be signing autographs afterwards. If I say Simon Says, close your eyes, close your eyes. If I say Simon Says, um, jump up and down, jump up and down. If I say stop, you gotta keep going. You gotta keep going because I didn't say Simon's dead. Oh yeah, there we go. And I was sitting in the front row and I couldn't help but hold back my tears as I listened to God's people just worship Jesus. Because that's this type of church. One church to go loves to worship. We run best when we are connected in relationship with our Creator. A goodness regulator just raises the level of goodness and faith and care. Wherever they go, they just, they just make somebody's life better. And Pastor John, this church is full of them. When we live with God and when we keep in step with His Spirit, He can help us see the good even in a hard situation. God has a plan for us, so we should trust God's plan for us, even though sometimes it might look a little scary. That's where courage comes in. We can put our faith in God that God will prevail. See, our doubts 
can create room for our faith to grow. Faith is not the absence of doubt. Faith is what you need in the presence of doubts, right? See, the transformation of a soul is the miracle of a moment. <laughs> but the maturity of same soul is the adventure of a lifetime of following Jesus. Christianity is about giving up the trophies of this world and grabbing hold the trophies of the kingdom of God and going into this world as servants, rolling up our sleeves and serving the world around us. Being inclusive Jesus' way is deeply uncomfortable, especially when we're thinking about people on the margins of society, especially when we're thinking of people we may not have a lot in common with. Jesus is the exclusive light, which is inclusively for everyone. <laughs> 100,000 acts of love, and you're almost there. Do everything that you can to be unignorably good. When we love others we don't have a lot in common with, we show them the radically inclusive love that God first showed us. Because all we really need to do ever is say, I know who Jesus is. Why don't you come? with me. And he says to Jesus on the cross, any chance you put a good word in for me? And Jesus says what he says to us now. Come on in and I'll clean you up and I'll put you back together again. How can we not include people different than us? How can we not include people far from Jesus? Who do you believe Jesus is? I am the exclusive provider of eternal life. What are you going to do with that? I love you. And I know you. And I'm working on you and I'm working on it. And I want you to know that you're never alone. That Jesus is always with you. Even if you can't sometimes feel him, you got to trust that he's there. And so Jesus willingly chose to come and die so that you and I could live. You can trust the Good Shepherd. There is nobody that loves like Him. There's nobody that gives you the truth like Him. There's nobody that is good like Him. Jesus and Jesus alone is the one you can trust. Trust no one but Him.